Hello everyone. This is Min Jang from the, the Meta. And uh, Ilya with the Intel, we are going to present Triton CPU work. All right. The quick agenda is that I will going to overview of the, our approach and uh, I will going to present some JMB optimization on, on, on our, our architecture. Ilya will do deep dive on X86 for with our tutorial example, and uh, he will close the, our, our talk. Okay, so why Triton CPU? So first of all, many people want to run the, um, the Triton on their laptop without any NVIDIA or AMD GPU. So we do have the, now the interpreter, but still it, uh, it'll be very good if, if we have a very decent perf on the CPU. The Meta also has a pretty strong internal demand for the Triton CPU. So it's not surprising that you know that the, the, the many inference workload is good for the CPU, especially for the small batch size. So this is the where the Triton CPU can make, make, make sense. We also have the PyTorch for Edge, which is for the phone, and the kernel writer for the, the, torch, uh, the phone side. So we want to spend only 20% of, of the, our efforts, but we want to achieve the 80% of the uh, against to the vendor highly optimized code. So, so we do have the also strong demands. Based on this the demand, so Intel and the Meta, we started this Triton CPU project as a fork uh, early this year. Our goal of the this year is the feature completeness. I mean, the perf is also still important, but the, the first major goal should be the, our feature completeness. All right, so let's just switch the gear, gear from the GPU to CPU. So many of them probably know very well, but the, I mean, I want a reminder, um, the basically CPU execution model. In CPU, everybody knows that, so we want to exploit the multi-core from the thread level uh, parallelism plus the SIMD superworld parallelism. This is a very simple example for, for the vector additions. So we have a size of 511 elements, I mean, a little less than the 512 to show the mask. Say that we have block size of 128. So in this case, as you know, there will be four Triton program, I mean, program, uh, Triton program ID from the zero to three. Because we are using the, um, the CPU and the SIMD at the same time, the entire, the vector is divided into the four pieces and the each the block, each uh, PID will be mapped to each CPU thread. And uh, suppose if you have two cores, then the two uh, the PIDs will be executed in each core. So this is the basically our uh, the CPU execution model for the Triton. So based on this our execution model, it is a very important to how to effectively easily exploit our SIMD architecture. So our first approach in our the Triton CPU is using the vector MLIR dialect. So in MLIR, there are a ton of the, um, the stock dialects are, are already there. So we are using the vector to get help from the, the major operations like a reduction or the, the matrix of the multiplication. So in our first step of the compiler is rolling to our TTIR, the types and the ops, to the vector dialect and the matching its operations. Once we get the, um, the LLVM IR, the backend, the LLVM backend, and also auto vectorizer can generate either FX512 for the Intel or the AMD or the Neon. So that's pretty much automatically done. That doesn't mean that we only use this the LLVM backend, but we can also generate the hand vectorized code for the special cases. So I will show a very interesting example using the BF16 cases for the ARM. To use the multi-core at this time, so we are using the OpenMP, OpenMP based um, with the very simple status scheduling to minimize the, um, the scheduling overlap. Okay, so here is our quick overview of the compiler. I mean. When it comes to compiler, it means that our actual program code under the CPU backend compiler.py. So you will see um, six major steps right now. The first step is pretty much the same with the GPU, the make TTIR. 
So we get the TTIR from the, our AST, then the, the this step. So we do some high level optimization for the TTIR. Here, the next step is the where interesting things are happening, and that we are lowering to the TTIR to Triton GPU, uh, uh, CPU IR. So that's where so we are lowering to our TTIR to the vector dialect. On Nico GPU, we also introduced the interesting stage. It's called the target uh, target specific CIR. So where we can do some something like AVX 512 or some BF type or the neon, whatever specialized things that can happen. Then, so we are lowering to the, um, the LLM IR. That's pretty much similar to the GPU side. Once we get the um, LLM IR, then the later is pretty much using the, our, uh, the, com uh, the general LLVM compilation steps. So we are um, the statically compiled to, to that ASM. So this is just a text file so that we can easily debug. And that this dot ASM also getting compiled into the dot SO, which can be also cache cacheable. So once you make the dot SO, then the actual execution is, that is also similar to the GPU side. So we need to create our CPU driver. Then we also have the OpenMP based launcher. So then the, the, the those launcher is taking the, the dot SO and the extracting the, the kernel pointer and the, to the execution. Okay, so here is the very simple, I mean, again, vector edition, very simple example. So it's an overview of the each IR RFX. So TTIR, now you get some pretty much now comfortable. So we have the, the, the pointer arithmetic followed by the load. TTCIR, as you can see, so we are lowering to the vector MLIR. So percent eight, you can see that the vector that mask the load. So that's our job to the lowering step. But there is some funny story in when it comes to handling the pointers or something. So oh, we, we need to introduce some interesting, like a Triton CPU, the pointer to memref, another dialect in the MLIR. That is for the, the vector dialect. So, so this is what we get. Then we can get the pretty interesting like LLVM IR. So it's intrinsic. So LLVM supports already the intrinsic for the, the mask, the load, and store. So here, the mask, the load, it's taking 128 of the floating pointer. So that's a pretty big uh, the vector size. OK, so that's the job of the, our Triton compiler. Then the ones that we pass to this, the LLVM IR to the, our compiler, the AVX5 instruction, we, we can get it. So for example, in x 6, for example, here, the vector move the packed single. Also, the V, the vector addition for the, the packed single with the ZMM, the, which is a 5 or 12, the bit vector register. So we were able to get, get to really highly optimized the code for this uh, the vector edition example. OK, so, so I want um, to summarize our the, um, current status of our Triton CPU. Uh, the most of the important the Triton features are now supported by the uh, supported for CPU. There are some missing parts. Uh, because the FAB8 or the FAB16 are not native for the, our CPU, so some of them are not fully implemented. Also, some features have like a print is not fully supported right now. One of the best things is the, um, our Triton CPU approach is, is that so many of the compilation steps are fairly target independent. So LLVM IR, uh, it turned out they are really um, the pretty um, architecture agnostic, even for the GPU, of course, for the CPU. So the the mostly it's working for free for the x 6 and the ARM side. So when it comes to feature completeness, so we are now seeing like a 90, over 97% of the, our Triton, the core unit test, and the entire uh, tutorial are working. We also hooked our Triton CPU as the back end of the, our torch inductor. And uh, when it comes to here, so another, so then the we can expand our the testing coverage. So at this time, it's um, something is pretty good, something is lower. Uh, that is because the most of the time, uh, the compilation is too long at this time. So we will address in the future. I mean, the one of the biggest um, the challenge that we have. But the, uh, so we can also seeing some decent amount of the testing coverage. Okay, so 
I'm going to present on some interesting um, Gen V optimization. So the Gen V here, the matrix, the vector cases. On PyTorch Edge, in, in a mobile devices, Gen V is also important, but actually the Gen V is more interesting for the phone or the arm side. In a Gen V, so we don't use the dot product, a dot, dot operator. The pattern is here basically reduction followed by element-wise multiplication. So here is the, our, the, the core part of the Gen V computation. So we enabled the fast math optimizations so they can relax the associativity for the when it comes to reduction. Then LFMIR is a pretty highly optimized, generating, uh, generating pretty highly optimized code. As you can see here, the vector reduced and fills them uh, add. So, and that this can be also converted to the fields that multiply add code. So at the moment, yeah, that's also pretty highly fast on X36. But when it comes to ARM, and also taking another precision BF16, so we can do it better. By default, TT, I mean, re a reduction operation in the TTIR is converted to vector MLIR. So there is a multi-dimensional multi reduction are supported by the vector MLIR. And then it goes to machine independent in intrinsic, as we previously saw, saw that. But when it comes to BF16 on the ARM architecture, we can use BF dot operation. So that's a special instruction for the ARM. So we wrote a special optimization path that is converting the previous pattern to this BF dot operations. Then we can emit this, the LLVM RMV8, the ARC64, the intrinsic part of using the BF dot. Then we get the BF dot actual the instructions. So we measure the perf on Neoverse, the ARM72 core, or that is from the GH200. So here is the result. So we were pretty happy because the Triton with the this, the BF dot optimization was actually better than the, our PyTorch. But keep in mind that the Torch implementation on ARM um, may not be highly optimized. So that's why so we were seeing some pretty decent the speed up. Finally, so we also integrated this, um, the BF, BF16 optimization onto the Llama 3 8 billion model the inference, the model. So we replaced the NN dot linear with the, this uh, Triton Gen B corner. And uh, we were seeing the pretty decent uh, improvement when it comes to token perfect, the perf. All right, so this is the my part. And uh, Ilya can oh, take the later thank you. part. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, I'll show you a few performance cases uh, for Triton CPU on x86 platform. Unfortunately, I have just a couple of minutes, so I'll go fast. Uh, right now, in our backend, we mostly rely on LLVM for optimizations, so we added just a couple of passes to utilize vectorized math libraries and optimize mask operation in tiled loops. So let's look at the first example. Uh, this is the first tutorial. We see that uh, Triton CPU here is behind torch in performance and partially this happens because we have a uh, Triton kernel call dispatch overhead. We are not interested in it uh, while trying to evaluate the quality of the generated kernel, so I will ignore it. And uh, this is how it actually looks. And here we see that this kernel requires some adjustments. So in this case, we can use tilt loops and tune block size to better utilize CPU threads, and if you do so, we get much better performance and can match torch here. Uh, the next one is softmost kernel. Again, here performance is unstable. This is because uh, this is original uh, kernel written for GPU, and to adjust it for CPU, we can use tiling and tune block size. So by doing so, we match torch, which uses optimized C++ kernel. Another similar one is layer norm, uh, where we already have tiled loops, but uh, parameter is not tuned for CPU, so by simply changing single parameter, we can get much better performance. So 
overall. Um, overall, we see that we can actually run GPU kernels on CPU, but we shouldn't expect the best performance from them without any adjustments. We need to make some adjustments like parameter tuning or in some cases uh, more significant changes, but in the result we can achieve the same performance as with C++ optimized kernels. So unless it comes to MATMOL and for MATMOL, we currently don't have any optimizations and we will need to support more uh, for MATMOL later. So our plans in Triton CPU development are to close those functional gaps that still exist and uh, fully enable after tuner for Triton CPU. Uh, also, we need to fix the problem with long compilation time because this is our biggest issue right now. And after that, we'll focus more on benchmarking and performance optimization. So uh, if you want to try Triton on CPU or contribute, please uh, visit our rapper and Slack channel. Thank you.